Welcome to Winton Raceway. We've got a test and tune on today and a uh, really special guest. We've got John Bauer with us today. JB, look, thanks so much for coming out to Winton today. Mate, um, what, do you, what are you doing today? What's the purpose of the day and what do you expect from the day? Well, we have got our little A9X Tirana that we race in uh, Touring Car Masters. So we're, gonna, we're just giving it a shakedown basically to make it Make sure we don't go to Adelaide. We only get one practice session at Adelaide, so you know you don't want to have any little gremlins happen. So that's all we're doing. But um, you know, I first raced here at Winton in 1979, so I've been coming here a long time. Fantastic place. And so you would have seen some changes since 1979, including turns three and four. It's your first time out there today. What's your thoughts on that? Oh, I think it's great. It's, it's opened up the corner a little bit. It's it's made it. It's uh, made it possibly it'll f the flow the track a bit better. Uh, uh, the exit of three was always it came in a little bit, so very easy to you know dump yourself into the fence. So I guess in that sense it's made it safer. But it's also four has been opened up. It's, it's a nicer corner now, although I haven't really gone hard at it yet. But I I will next time. So. So it's 2020. It's, good. it's, That's good. it's 2020. It's a new decade. Yeah, yeah. What season is John Bow up to? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I honestly don't know. I, um, I, I think I started racing in 70, 1972, so or 71. So I've been racing an awful long time. I, somebody, some stats person, gave me some stats last week. That I've done 1166 races, so oh, I've done more races than, <laughs> than anybody else in the country by miles. And your highlight here at Winton, what's your best memory of Winton Raceway? Uh, I've got some good memories of Winton. I, I mean, I won a, a, a couple of supercar rounds, or well, Group A, I won a race here in my first season with Dick Johnson in the Sierras. I, I won a race later with a Falcon. Um, and I've, you know, won races, lost races. I mean, it's just, it's good to come here because it's got a, a really core cool group of enthusiasts, you know, and you draw from all around the, you know, the area like Shep and Wangaratta and obviously Benalla and, you know, it's just good, it's just a great place. I, I love it. And to see the improvements, it's, it's good to see because not everybody, not all race track owners put the money back into the track. So yeah. I, I believe in all that for for the youth and, you know, for people that are going to be future users. The other day I had a chat with Michael Clement, who's starting off his TCR career this okay, season. Okay, what's, uh, what car? He's in a Honda for Michael Clement Motorsports in the TCR. Okay, so not wall racing? He's, they, no. They've bought their own car? Yeah, no, I believe he's oh, bought okay, his own car. Okay. They're doing a release on uh, Sunday. Okay, good. So a man who's been racing since 1972, 1,166 races, <laughs> certainly wouldn't be classed as a rookie by any stage. What's the best advice you can give to someone new in any category when they're just starting off in motorsport? Well, I don't know much about this young person, but I mean, the TCR category, I think, is a great category. It's, it's uh, not crazy money. It's uh, seriously good racing, close racing. I mean, the, the best thing to do is to not crash into everybody, you know, because if you get, a, as a youngster, if you get a reputation for crashing into people, you don't progress very far but you know there's some very good drivers in TCR and if he can you know make an impact on those drivers when I say impact I don't mean a physical impact physical impact I mean you know if he can beat some of the guys that are named drivers you know it'll be good for him and the TCR things around the world I, I honestly I'm, I'm quite excited about it I, I, it's not something that I necessarily want to do but but I'm excited about it as a category for Australia yep and finally, your expectations for 2020 with the TCM series ahead? Where's Not John Bauer going to be <laughs> come uh, November, December? I don't know, mate. I don't know. It's uh, obviously Stevie J's been the one to beat lately. So, uh, you know, he's always, they've got a new car. No one knows. No one's seen it yet other than exterior pictures. So that'll be... Obviously, he's a very class driver. So I've either come first or second in every seri every TCM series I've been in. But the last three, I think he's he's won. So John so, Bow's turn. So no, I don't know. I mean, I do it because I love it. I'm brain trained to try and do my best. So, but I just love motorsport. So I'll be doing a few historic races with one of my friends' cars, an old Allard, which is a 1952 car driven by. Carol Shelby back in the okay, day, yep. so it's quite famous in America. Yes, yes. And uh, I'm racing at Phillip Island in a, in a Repco Brabham V8. Nice. That, that uh, Jack Brabham raced in 1968. So, you know, as long as I can go to a racetrack and have a drive and 
I'm happy. Well, mate, on behalf of everybody here at Winton Raceway, I wish you all the best for 2020. Thank you. Good mate. luck at start 1167. We met Philip Island. <laughs> yes. And, mate, yeah, looking forward to seeing you out no, here in the future. That'll be Adelaide. 1167, yeah. Uh, that'll be Adelaide. So, yeah, I'd, I'd like to, you know, whatever happens in my life, I'll race till I can't race anymore. So, whether that be in Tourniquet Masters or something else, I don't know. But whatever because I, I love it. Whatever happens in the future, mate, raise the bat's been a great <laughs> inning so far, and there's still a bit to come. Good idea, mate. Thanks Thank for your time. You. Thank you.